All right, boys and girls, uh, before we hop into this video, I just want to take care of a couple little things to just give you guys the heads up on Friday, November 27th, which is Black Friday here in the United States. That's the day after Thanksgiving. I am, uh, we're hosting a Saab meetup, car meetup. It could be all cars, doesn't have to be just Saabs, but Saabs, cars, enthusiasts in Chicago. We're gonna be doing an I we're gonna be doing it at an IKEA store in Schaumburg, Illinois. I'll drop a link in the description below of the address. So if you guys want to partake, if you guys are in the surrounding area of Chicago, Wisconsin, etc., and you guys want to make the trip, it's gonna be from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Those are tentative times. Obviously, if things are going well and you guys are all hanging, we're having a good time, and it goes past one o'clock, well, so be it. So that's kind of a little homework for you guys on uh, some things that are coming up. Also, I wanted to say it's the holiday season. So if you guys want to support me and the channel and all the work I've been doing and uh, want to cop yourself some merch, we have fresh hoodies, hats, all sorts of merchandise down in the link, Teespring link below. So if you guys want to buy yourself or somebody else a gift for the holiday season, be sure to click the link and uh, purchase something if you guys like. And one last thing. If you didn't go and see it yet, the video from last upload, we did uh, an epic track day event with the Porsche 911 that we purchased in July and it was just absolutely amazing all around. Great car enthusiasm, great car enthusiasm and uh, fantastic footage. So if you guys wanna take some time later after this video, you guys can check that out. We had a lot of fun. So definitely wanna check that out and uh, give that video a like as well, why not? So enjoy this episode guys. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantsis. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to smash the subscribe button. Give this video a like because it's good for you and I because this is after all YouTube. It's all about you. And of course, you know, give this video a share. Today, I'm introducing to you my brand new to me 2007 Saab 93 convertible. As you can see guys, it's a little dirty but it does run as you can tell. Battery's a little bit on the weaker side, so I didn't want to keep turning it on and off, but uh, she's in a little bit of shape that could be uh, a little better, but tires are decent. Brakes I have to inspect, um, and uh, yeah, let's just give you guys a quick tour of this car. All right, so before we actually get into this car and show you guys around a little bit more, on the outside, the main damage on this car is just right here, like a little side swipe scratch. It looks like it might've hit the garage or something when they were pulling it in. There is no exhaust leaks, it's nice and quiet. On the inside, it is also fairly clean. There's some wear and tear, obviously. This car's got 143,000 miles on it, but everything is uh, in working order for the most part. Now let me explain. So inside the car, Everything is status quo, air conditioning, all the HVAC systems are working, radio is working nicely as well. No problem there. All right, so uh, going into the center cluster here, you guys will start to see some of the issues. We have an airbag malfunction service, contact service, washer fluid obviously is low, no problem, side marker and left side marker failure, which is also no big deal. So none of that's a big deal, really, honestly. The only thing that I have to figure out is my scan, my Tech 2, which I have here is a, is a Chinese made one. So obviously it doesn't allow me to get into the 2008 model or 2005 and newer models for some reason. So I don't know if there's a software for that. I think I've done a little bit of reading, but not too much. So if anybody knows more about it than I do currently, and you guys wanna drop a comment and let me know what to do, that would be helpful because not only is this a 2007 and I can't get into it, but also the 2008 Saab 95 that we have that we rebuilt off Copart is another one, is another one that I'm having the same issue with. So that's that. Obviously the car is extremely dirty. And as you can see, we have the engine running. I suspect there's a decent amount of fuel, but this is another common Saab problem from all the generations, uh, every one of them, even the older ones, 93s, 95s, they all had the sender unit go bad at some point in time. So 145,000 
typically this is the time for a new fuel pump in these cars anyways and that's typically where the the sender uh, unit goes bad anyhow so it's kind of a one and done deal with all of that but as you can see we're not getting a fuel reading and uh, unlike the 95 and the older model 93 you had access underneath the rear seat but of course in typical fashion why would they just keep things easy uh, Saab of course knew that this problem existed in their cars and they of course went ahead and made it impossible to gain access from under the seat why not so obviously we need to figure out what to do there if anybody out there has a suggestion of what to do uh, I know the typical feature the, the typical call for this service is to pull the fuel pump by dropping the fuel tank so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to manage that here on the driveway or if I need a shop to help me out with that but let's figure that out we want to make this car running great I am I'm not gonna be keeping this car so just to keep that short if somebody's interested in this vehicle it's not for sale yet because we have a lot of work to do on it but just an FYI anybody wants a beautiful convertible that's been pretty well cared for obviously it's been it's got some age to it but we're gonna make it right reach out to me so those are the two major things mechanically wrong with the car transmission shifts nice and smooth and one cool thing is when you hit the button for the roof everything works perfectly there you go guys roof is working and of course it is mid-november almost and it is 69 degrees out currently so there you guys go roof works So really not bad. Got the antenna on there. Looks good. All windows are working. Obviously this car has been sitting in the garage. They don't use the, the owner that had this before me did not use the car for the last year or so. But uh, here's underneath the hood. And obviously the vehicle has been sitting outside and has accumulated some leaves. But here it is. Obviously, we're good on coolant. Oil's not, not bad. I'm sure we'll change it. Looks like we're missing a little cap here on the power steering that appears. So maybe we'll pick one up there. All in all, as you guys can tell, it is running really nice and smooth. And that's that. We'll take it around the block and uh, guys, let you, let you see it ride. All right, so first things first, when I am backing up or coming to a stop and I hit the brakes, I feel like the control arm on the driver's side is shifting, which means maybe a bushing is bad. I gotta get in there and really inspect it. That's for my seatbelt, so don't mind that. But there's your Saab 2.0. And as you can tell, it runs pretty smooth been sitting outside for the couple of days so a little rust on the rotors no big deal but yeah if you guys can hear it hold on sounds like a bushing on one of the control arms really probably not that big of a deal so we'll get in there engine mounts seem to be pretty solid All in all, a really solid car, just a little TLC here, and we'll make it great again, because that's what we seem to do on this channel, all right, boys? And girls, we've got the manual mode. We're gonna clear the seatbelt warning sign. That's not gonna stop beeping now. Cool little cruiser, definitely something nice. Uh, we'll fix this thing up, and it'll be good for somebody for this spring. Somebody that's interested in a 9.3 convertible, We'll make a good deal, but we're going to make this thing good again. And uh, now that we got some heat in the engine, you guys can see how smooth it really is. Transmission shifts really nice and clean, really smooth, no clunkiness. I'm going to have to inspect some of those engine mounts and that's, I definitely can feel something on that control arm. So we're gonna inspect everything further. This is the first walk around, just to introduce the car to you guys since we're gonna do some work on it. 
And uh, there's your cup holder, which is working. Sometimes those fail. And that's it. I'm gonna put the top up. Just a quick short video here with you guys to show you the car. And uh, in the next couple up in the next few episodes, we're gonna dig deeper into some of the failed points on the car, and we'll start to rehab it. I think maybe in the next episode we'll uh, get this thing all cleaned up. Here we go. Roof is coming up. Nice and smooth. There you go. Oh, windows too. There it is. Beautiful. All right, so guys, drop a comment below if you guys have any suggestions for the fuel pump. And of course, my uh, scanner, the uh, Tech 2 scanner from China that I have. And uh, we'll get the sensor fixed, get the fuel pump replaced, and then we'll start to inspect. I think before we get to that, we'll get to the suspension and some of the knocking noises we just heard and go from there. I'm excited. I mean, this thing is in pretty good shape, minus a little bit of the body damage there. But other than that, we're going to make it perfect. So guys, drop a comment below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. One last thing too is we're going to get this key fixed up and uh, stay tuned for more. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.